and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at comparing gas volumes. This is part of the molar volume topic. Because all gases take up the same volume for one mole, we are able to compare the volumes of gases directly, just as we would in a mole ratio. In this first example, we have 50 centimetres cubed of nitrogen. This is reacting with excess hydrogen and we're trying to calculate the volume of ammonia produced. We can see from the equation that one mole of nitrogen will produce two moles of ammonia. Using the gases in just the same way, 50 centimetres cubed of nitrogen will produce 100 centimetres cubed of ammonia. In this next example, we've been given the volumes of both reactants, 50 centimetres cubed of nitrogen and 120 centimetres cubed of hydrogen. And we're still trying to find the volume of ammonia. Firstly, we need to find which of these is the limiting reagent. If we take the 50 centimetres cubed of nitrogen, we need to have 150 centimetres cubed of hydrogen. We can see from the information we don't have this much. If we start from the 120 centimetres cubed of hydrogen, we would need 40 centimetres cubed of nitrogen, which we do have. One mole of nitrogen will produce two moles of ammonia. We know now that only 40 centimetres cubed of nitrogen will react, which will produce 80 centimetres cubed of ammonia. In this example, we've been given 30 centimetres cubed of nitrogen, 100 centimetres cubed of hydrogen, and we're trying to find the total volume and composition of gas. This means we need to include any excess re reactants that we have that are in the gaseous state. So first let's find the limiting reagent. We take the mole ratio between the reactants. If we start from the 30 centimetres cubed of nitrogen, this would require 90 centimetres cubed of hydrogen, which we do have. We can now calculate the excess hydrogen. We start with 100 centimetres cubed, 90 of which reacts. This means that at the end of the reaction, we will have 10 centimetres cubed of hydrogen left over. Now let's turn to the products. One mole of nitrogen produces two moles of ammonia. All of the 30 centimetres cubed of nitrogen will react and produce 60 centimetres cubed of ammonia. This means we can now work out our total volume of gas. It will be made of the 60 centimetres cubed of ammonia product plus the 10 centimetres cubed of the hydrogen in excess. So in total, we will have 70 centimetres cubed of gas at the end of the reaction. Pause the video now and try and calculate the volume of carbon dioxide produced. So in this reaction we have 100 centimetres cubed of methane and 300 centimetres cubed of oxygen and we're trying to calculate the volume of carbon dioxide. From the balanced equation, one mole of methane requires two moles of oxygen to react. If we start with the 100 centimetres cubed of methane, we would require 200 centimetres cubed of oxygen, which we have. One mole of methane produces one mole of carbon dioxide. All of the 100 centimetres cubed of methane will react to produce 100 centimetres cubed of carbon dioxide. Pause the video now and this time calculate the volume and composition of the gas at the end of the reaction. In this reaction, we have 500 centimetres cubed of propane and two litres or 2,000 centimetres cubed of oxygen. 
and we're trying to find the total volume and composition of gas. The balanced equation tells us that one mole of propane requires five moles of oxygen. If we take the 500 centimetres cubed of propane, we would require 2,500 centimetres cubed of oxygen to react. We only have 2,000 centimetres cubed. Starting from the oxygen and dividing by 5, this requires 400 centimetres cubed of propane. This allows us to calculate the excess propane that we will have at the end of the reaction. We start with 500 centimetres cubed and 400 of this is used in the reaction. This means at the end of the reaction we will have 100 centimetres cubed left over. One mole of propane produces three moles of carbon dioxide. We know that only 400 centimetres cubed of propane will react and we'll get three times 400 1200 centimetres cubed of carbon dioxide at the end of the reaction. Our total volume and composition will be 1200 centimetres cubed of carbon dioxide plus 100 centimetres cubed of propane, giving us a total volume of gas at the end of the reaction of 1300 centimetres cubed. Pause the video now and try this last example. In this reaction, we have 150 centimetres cubed of sulphur dioxide and 100 centimetres cubed of oxygen. Two moles of sulphur dioxide requires one mole of oxygen to react. That means that 150 centimetres cubed of sulphur dioxide requires 75 centimetres cubed of oxygen, which we have present. We can now calculate the excess oxygen. We start with 100, 75 of which reacts, leaving 25 centimetres cubed of excess oxygen. Two moles of sulphur dioxide produces two moles of sulphur trioxide. All of the 150 centimetres cubed of sulphur dioxide will react to produce 150 centimetres cubed of sulphur trioxide. The total volume of gas will be 150 centimetres cubed of sulphur trioxide plus the 25 centimetres cubed excess oxygen, giving a total volume of 175 centimetres cubed. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem for regular updates on new videos and Miss Adams Chemistry on Instagram for flashcards. Remember to ring the bell for notifications of new videos. Bye for now!